I've learned something the past three years after living in Paris, moving, moving from Atlanta. And I learned that it's not always about what's directly in front of you, but it's about how far you can see with your vision. If you just focus, uh, focus on your direct proximity, you can feel limited in your abilities, right? When you focus on your direct proximity, you can feel limited in your abilities. And I've learned that it's so powerful to just take some time to really look within and see what all is there in terms of your desires and your wishes and even your dreams. And when you do that, don't just look at it as something that's impossible. Think about it as something that you know that you can do. There's a difference between faith and fear. And I have so many stories where in my life I've had to transform fear into faith. And by doing that, I've been able to reach certain goals and get to certain places. But ultimately, having that fear to faith mentality it requires you to reflect to be self-reflective and to really be clear on what it is that you want to do what kind of dreams you have us as humans our mind has the power to go far beyond what we can even fathom right now you know we have we have the power to visualize uh to visual to visualize places visualize experiences visualize people um visualize interactions like we are we are visionaries as humans we are creators you know made in the image of the creator and really taking on that responsibility and wearing that creator hat it provides you so much value in life and it helps you to believe that whatever it is that you're thinking about doing you can actually do it it's not just about motivation it's about um just the awareness of who you are and when you're traveling abroad, when you're going to all these different places, just think about what it means, what it means to be in a different country. Think about what it means that you created this, you created this opportunity to travel, which is already an amazing thing. The fact that you were able to get, get on an airplane and fly, you know, thousands of miles and end up somewhere else and still be the same person. It's like that in itself shows that you are a creator. And many times we have identity crisis is living in this world of social media comparison. We often lose track of who we are. But at the end of the day, you are a creator and you have the ability to create the future that you want for yourself and for your life. And it may not always look exactly how you want it, but faith is a continuous process. Faith is not just, okay, I believe I'm going to get here, and when I get here, I'm done. It's like, no, I believe I can get here. And once I get here, I have new beliefs, right? I, I believe that I can get to Paris. And once I got here, now I'm believing that I can get to this new city that I'm moving to tomorrow um, next to Switzerland. And once I get there, I have even a new, a new dream. And that's the cool thing about it because it's, it's, it's all about creation, right? You probably can't name one artist, famous artist, well-known artists that only painted one thing it's like no we are creators we continuously create you create one image one experience and then you create another right and that's just a beautiful it's a beautiful thing and i'm really learning this more as i'm spending more time abroad and i'm in this in this space now um where i've spent time learning about who i am and also who I want to be. Because again, we are creators. We can create who we want to be. But back to the awareness, it takes looking within yourself and realizing what is inside of me that is serving me. And then what is inside of me that is unhealthy? What type of patterns or habits do I have that don't serve me well, that don't give me good results in my life? <laughs> Whether it be the people that I interact or the situations that I find myself in, it's like, what, what, what's going on inside that I want to change that I want to see differently and then once you have that you can then think about what steps you need to take to replace bad patterns with good patterns and it's all the process it's all a part of this life journey that we're on but self-awareness is such a powerful tool when it comes to mental health when it comes to wellness self-awareness is the first step 
to solving any problem. You first have to be aware. And so that's it. I just wanted to share that quick message as I'm as I'm here on the rooftop at one of the WeWork offices, Rue yeah, de Lafayette. Um, it's a pretty pretty cool vibe. I like I like this rooftop vibe to where I'm just seeing over the top of different buildings. Um, it's a vibe. And if you're watching this and you feel like you are encouraged to do more, to take a leap of faith, to go abroad, whatever, if you feel like you're encouraged to, but you don't have the a community of people that you've seen do it or a community of people that you can talk to and ask questions to about it, that's why I made the Pack It Up community and it's free. But my goal is just to gather people together who either have a desire to move abroad um, or have actually done it. And I want to put the people together and allow for meaningful, genuine connections to happen. Because remember this, you are always one connection away from your dream. So if you're interested in the description, I have a link to the Pack It Up community. You can join. Um, I, I'll be in there. And um, yeah, hope to see you there. I'll see you on the next video. Peace and love.